What we're going to do in this video is multiply the numbers 352 and 481. And we're going to do it in two different ways, but realize that the underlying ideas are the same. So first, let's just appreciate that 352 can be rewritten as 300 plus 50 plus 2, or we could think of it as 2 plus 50 plus 300 plus 300. You add these three numbers together, you're going to have 352. And same idea, 481, that's four hundreds, four hundreds plus eight tens, which is 80, so plus 80, and then we have one one, so plus one. And you might have be familiar with multiplying like this in the past, setting up this grid. And it's essentially we're applying the distributive property. We're going to take the two and multiply it times 400 plus 80 plus one. So we're going to multiply two times each of those numbers. And actually, let me just draw some quick lines here. So we have that. And then we'll have, we do it like this. And then we have this. And then let me set up my grid. I'm having trouble drawing straight lines. Okay, there we go. And then one more in this direction. There you go. And then in this direction, let me draw some horizontal lines to have a neat, clean grid here. There we go. Now, first we'll multiply two times 400 plus 80 plus one. So two times 400 is 800. Two times, I'm doing that same blue color. So this is 800. 2 times 80 is 160, and then 2 times 1 is 2. And then we can multiply 50 times these. So what's 50 times 400? Well, 5 times 4 is 20, and then we have another 1, 2, 3 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, so that's 20,000. 50 times 80, 5 times 8 is 40, and then we have two zeros, just like that. And then we have 50 times 1, which is of course going to be equal to 50. And then we go to the 300, which we will distribute and multiply times each of these, each of these numbers. 300 times 400, 3 times 4 is 12, and then we have four zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. We get 120,000. 300 times 80, 3 times 8 is 24, and then we have 1, 2, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3, so we get 24,000. And then 300 times 1 is, of course, equal to 300. And then what we want to do is add up all of these numbers. So let's actually add up the rows first. So if we add up the rows, let me draw another line going straight down like that. And so if we sum this up, this is going to be 962. 800 plus 160 is 960 plus 2. So this is 962. This right over here is 24,050. 24,050. And then this right over here is what, 100 and 144,300, 144,300. 120,000 plus 24,000 is 144,000 plus 300. There you have it. And then you would add up these numbers just like that to get your final answer. And I'm going to hold off doing that for a second as we see the other way of multiplying these numbers. So the other way of doing it, we could have said 400. And 81, and this is sometimes called the standard algorithm, 481 times 350, let me do the same colors, 352. And in the standard algorithm, the way that we do it is we start with this 2 in the 1's place, and then we multiply it times 481. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. So we put the 6 here, and then we sometimes we say we'll carry the 1. We're really regrouping that as 100s. That's 10 tens, which is 100s. And then 2 times 4 is 8, which is really 800, plus 1, so that's 9, or really 900. Do you see a pattern here? This 962 is the exact same thing as that 962 right over there. Why? Well, because we multiplied the 200 times the 1 times the 80 times the 400. We saw that over here. And then we just added them all together to be 962. That's all the standard algorithm did just now. And then we move over to the 5. But this is really 5 tens, or 50. 
And that's why in the standard algorithm, we put a zero here before, the, before saying, all right, what's five times one? It's five. What's five times eight? It is 40. We regroup the four. Let's delete this from before. What's five times four? Well, that's 20 plus four is 24. Notice, 24,050. That's exactly what we had over here. And it makes sense because we're taking a 50 and we're multiplying it times 481, which is exactly what we did right over there. And so you might guess what's gonna happen when we take this three and we multiply it times 481. That's really a 300 times 481. Let me delete that so I don't get confused. So to, because it's a 300 in the standard algorithm, we put two zeros here first. So when I say algorithm, it just means a method of doing something. And so we'll say three times one is three. Three times eight is 24. And then three times four is 12, plus two is 14. And so notice, I have 144,300. And the standard way of doing it at this point, we just add them all up. So whether we're doing it here or here, we just add everything up. So two plus zero plus zero is two. Six plus five is 11. Regroup that one. So one plus nine plus three is 13. And then one plus four plus four is nine. Two plus four is six. And then we have a one right over there. So we get 169,312. And so when you just learn this method, the standard algorithm, we, some people might call it, it might seem like, hey, this just seemed like a little bit of a magic. But all you're doing is you're going to each of these places and you're distributing it. You're multiplying it times 400 plus 80 plus one to get this. Then you're multiplying 50 times 400 plus 80 plus one, and then 300 times 400 plus 80 plus one, exactly what we did right over here.